Hello, this is Tatia, and here is my ISU project for Canadian History and DLC. My project is about the Group of Seven. Overview. The Group of Seven were a gathering of Canadian artists that made some very famous paintings and have left a legacy upon the face of the North. Their paintings are world-renowned, and they are a great part of Canadian history. The hills in the background is one of the paintings of theirs. I'll be talking about who they were, the members' names, their history, when they came to be, what they did and why, and the legacy they left to Canada. This slide features a few members of the Group of Seven. Previously, they were independent other than Varley, who was a childhood friend of an artist. They lived in different paths until they met while working at Grip LTD, a design firm for commercial art. And when they realized that their artistic potentials were within reach, they quickly became the Group of Seven. The pictures shown here are Tom Thompson, Franklin Carmichael, Lauren Harris, J.E.H. McDonald, Arthur Lismer, Frederick Varley, Edwin Holgate, Frank Johnston, and their contemporary Emily Carr. In an art gallery in Toronto, many citizens at this time in the 1920s believed that Canada was unworthy of artistic praise. The group was uh, proving them wrong after making their first exhibition in 1920, and when asked about the group, they decided to call themselves the Group of Seven, and thus the Group of Seven was born. Please understand that Tom Thompson never lived to see the rise of the Group of Seven, but his art of Canadian landscapes inspired the art of the group. He met the artist, but wasn't part of the group. This picture is a small summary of what, where, and why the Group of Seven painted. The Group of Seven sketched, painted, drew, illustrated, etc. of the Canadian landscape, historical sites, and sometimes people on the weekend. And they prefer to draw the Algonquin Park landscape and sometimes Lake Superior and cities in the provinces, or people, for the sole purpose of giving Canadians a reason to believe that Canada was as beautiful, if not more, as other countries. So uh, many uh, believed that Canada was nothing more than a homeland. The next two slides contain information on the members of the Group of Seven. In short, Lauren was credited with founding the group, J.E.H. was also a writer, Arthur was a satirical artist. Frederick was an army man who painted portraits. Frank was made principal of Winnipeg's art school. Franklin was a commercial illustrator. Edwin created murals, graphic arts, and founded art societies. And Emily, a contemporary, was a West Coast painter. The group of seven were painters in post-war Canada, 1920. These artists created wonders of art and created an identity for Canada. They created many schools and societies and continue to inspire others as they did back then. In conclusion, the Group of Seven were world-renowned artists who created art, schools, and societies. They became artists in 1920 and were inspired by Tom Thompson and met in Grip LTD. Each person made their own contributions, had their own talents, and they have created themselves a lasting legacy in Canada. I chose this topic because I really wanted to learn about the Group of Seven, and I love art. And it was the only one that I could get that was really original. Thank you for listening to my presentation about the Group of Seven.